Hey everybody, happy Friday to you. By now I'm sure you've noticed that you have a new timeline for your Facebook business page. And I'm going to show you how you can use the tabs at the bottom with a custom URL for directing people to go to your blog or your website or an event. Any link that you can create, you can use this third party application to create a custom tab. So we're limited with our marketing, so this is very important that we start considering how to do this. So let me jump over to Facebook land and here I am on my business page and there are my tabs now of course photos is sta stationary you can't do much with that but all three of these tabs and even up to 12 if I drop this down you can see 12 I can see 15 because I'm the admin of the page but you can create a custom tab that can take you anywhere this one visit my website if I click on this it's going to ask me as the administrator if I want to be taken elsewhere and I say yes and it's going to take me to the URL that I give it so in this case it's ShellyRoth.com and there it is so let's go back and I'll show you how you too can create a tab with the URL that you want to use so this the application I use is called WooBox W-O-O-B-O-X type that in and you'll see right at the top 35 and 36 million users for this particular iframe tab and when I click on that it's going to open up the application and ask me if I want to go ahead and which page do I want to use this on. Now because I do a lot of training I have you'll see I have a lot of pages. It's taking a while to load right now. Um, and I'm just going to pick a random page, one of my test pages to use so that I can show you how to do it just right from the start from a clean fresh page. So here we should see install the static iframe tab. Yes and all I do is go to install page tab it's going to open up and say which page would you like this on so I'm going to just pick a random page um, we'll pick holistic Houston as a random page that we're going to put this on never published any of these pages and now we're going to go in and say add page tab and it will open the page and there's all this stuff see my page is not published but all this stuff from WooBox it's like tab settings and everything just ignore all this stuff I've never played with it the thing you want to go is to page source where it says redirect and when you click redirect this is where you will put in your website or your blog URL or an event or basically anything you want to put in there just remember to click page source redirect and then save settings now once the settings are saved I'm going to end up going back to Holistic Houston and you will see now it's going to probably say do you want to add an image do you want to like this page and it's going to prompt me with all that I'm just going to hit ignore all that stuff so you can see where this ends up and then how you can customize it so we're saving those settings again <laughs> and let's go back to our page Holistic Houston I'm gonna hide the admin panel the administrators panel we're gonna skip all this prompts and now you can see those two search lights are WooBox's application I can go into this now and change by clicking the arrow and now the pencil edit the settings and giving it a new name like visit my website I can even change the image and I'm not going to take the time to do that but you could go in and I could put maybe a spring in here I'll show you mine on my springboard works page here in a minute we'll click OK and now watch what happens well maybe you know what I forgot to do which I always forget to do save so this is a good lesson for you let's go in and edit that again visit my website save okay and now there it is visit my website and when I click on this tab that I'm featuring on my business page it's going to ask me as the administrator if I want to be redirected as a user you, it should take you directly to that page and I'm going to say yes please take me where I've asked you to and now you'll see I'll end up on Springboard Works website so it's easy to do it's called WooBox W-O-O-B-O-X you can have as many custom tabs as you want and you can show off up to 12 so there is my website 
and it took you there from my Facebook page. Now let me show you Springboard and how I customized the Springboard WooBox tab. As you can see, this one says visit my website. I put a little logo in here. You can do that with all three if you wanted to and have them take you and then a call to action either in the description image or underneath it. That gives you a good idea how to create a custom tab. These are free, which is nice to know. And there's all kinds of apps out there that let you do custom tabs, but I happen to like this one. It's very easy. For those of you that aren't in my insiders group, I'm inviting you to join us. We're going to be doing SEO and Google Analytics on May 7th. It's $19 to be part of our group. Just email sroth at shellyroth.com and I'll send you a link to learn more. Class is coming up in Houston. You kind of know what I'm doing now. Google and LinkedIn and Facebook and a new service. I'm doing custom video critiques of either your Facebook business page or your LinkedIn profile. Again, just email sroth at shellyroth.com. If you like what you learned today, do go like my page. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next Friday.